All right. If this don't work out, no wog one. Come on, got to work this time. Ah, finally. Yo. Wog one. Yeah, we're all good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We're in, we're in, we're in. Man, I had to go downgrade my Instagram to like version 3.3 3 or something. Why? What, what is that about? I don't know, man. Instagram, whenever I've done a live and then I go to do another one, it won't let me do another live. I've got to like delete my app and downgrade it. Mm, you've got a glitch. You've got a glitch. All right, cool. Yeah, so we've got us. Um, yeah, man. I think we should be cool right now. Yeah, man. See, it's cool. So you say to me, big man. Yeah, yeah, shout out everyone that's joining. Um, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. I've been listening to your um, YouTube things in the rising still. Mm -hmm. I see the one today. It was, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the one about the, the, the big decision that everyone's talking yep. about Saturday the 13th to go or not to go. Um, obviously, a lot of people. Is it the 13th? Yeah, I believe it's Saturday the 13th. <laughs> I believe. Say nothing. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so go on then. What's your views? Do you reckon uh, Mandem should be rolling through? Um, I'm probably, I don't know. If, if you ain't thought about it or if it ain't been a subject that's on your mind, um, I'm probably at like an advanced stage of thinking about it because it's been on my mind a lot. Do you know what I mean? So I'll just, I'll just cut to the chase and say people are going to go anyway. Um, I think that prevention is better than cure. And I would say that no matter whether your views on Black Lives Matter or Soros or it being like a, um, a PSYOP, all of those things could be true and probably are true. There's still going to be a lot of vulnerable people there. And I personally don't want to be somebody that's like, ah, oh, I should have gone. So, you know, they've got a saying that says, um, in the end, it's the thing... It's not the things that you do that you regret, it's the things you don't do. I think it's a possibility I could regret not going. Um, it's a possibility I could regret going, but you know what? Yeah, I'm 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 more than more than likely just gonna be there, man. Right, that's it, isn't it? Anyway, we can break it down why I'm gonna go and whatever, but end story, yeah, I'm gonna be there because the people are gonna be would there. Would you would you recommend for people to roll through? If people are under, on their, now I'm going sitting on the fence. I would so never, cool. ever, ever um, go on a public platform and endorse anybody doing anything. Like, especially nothing like that. Like, think about your your public laws. Think about your your safety and put that first. You get me? But should should it be one of those things that you know, it's a burning desire for you to go there? Then uh, you know, absolutely for for rolling down. I think maybe the more level-headed people that are amongst the crowd, that might that might um, stand us in better stead. Do you know what I mean? Because I know there's a lot of ignorant people that, I'm mean, not by ignorant. I don't mean that they're dumb or nothing. I mean that they ain't trying to hear nothing, can it? Like their fingers, mm. we've been called out, and I'm rolling out. And the warrior class is what we call them. The warrior class, I man them. They're not always the most strategic. But at the same time, their hearts are in a good place. And I'm seeing a lot of calls to unity. And I know everyone could be like, yo, this is a burning hell. But it's one of them situations like that I think you get in your lifetime where you've got to make a decision. And me being armed with maybe knowing better makes me a vital, a vital member of that crowd, I would say. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and what do you say to the people that are like, why are you even going to this man's call out? Um, I agree, man. It's a draw out. We we don't do press button mutes. We're not press button mutes. It's that's never been cool to get drawn out. But sometimes, even though you know a man's drawing you out, and like it's childish, man tells you suck your mum. You might just smack him in it. You might just smack him there. Yeah, you know it's a draw out. You'd be sitting in cuffs or whatever. Be like, oh, that was silly. You're just throwing all stuff away. But I mean. Put it this way, man, them don't think twice to ride out on each other. We don't think twice to put each other down. And um, and I think it's very easy to be like, do you know what? These people are sheep. These people are lost. Um, I've been fighting. I've been fighting very hard to try and take ego out of 
information, to try to take ego out of enlightenment because I think enlightenment is the opposite of ego. So just keeping it fixed in my mind that there's different levels of understanding or there's le different levels of overstanding helps me to, rather than just criticize them, Ah, here's a here's a perfect analogy. Your little brother's a troublemaker. Your little brother's always yeah. getting in trouble. Yeah? Your little brother's a hothead. He don't really think the smartest. You're in your bed, it's three o'clock in the morning. He phones you. He says, Yo, I'm not sure, but it might be beef. I beg you come I beg you come and link me down the road. You got two choices. Ah oh, bruv, fuck off. You're always calling me. I've got work in the morning, you're waking up the kids. You get me always calling me with your fuckeries. Like, you don't call me for no other reason. Holler me after, yeah? Or, you got those two choices. Most people, for their family, even though they know that they're stupid or whatever, they're going to ride because they don't want to go back to sleep and wake up and hear some fuckeries happen and that they weren't there. It's that kind of analogy. That's how I feel about my community, isn't it? It's my little brothers, my little sisters, my big brothers, my big sisters. They don't all think like me. I don't think many people think like me, but they're going to be there, isn't it? And there's some dicker that said he's going to be there too. And just in case he's there, I'm likely to be there, isn't it? Why, do you, why are the Mandem rolling there? Um, I think... Like, what's, what is the... I think... Most, you know what? Let's bring it, let's bring it to these Katie Hopkin, Hopkins questions, isn't it? Like, what is the, the end goal? What's the end goal of rolling out there? I don't know. Some people get in mm. there with signs and funny letters and talking about I can't breathe. And some people are doing that, isn't it? Some people heard that those people that are doing it, those members of our community that are protesting and are out there on the streets are being subliminally threatened by somebody that is known to have a command of a, a, a decent amount of people in it. So mm. it's that, that simple. If a man says he's coming down with his lads, some of us know what that means or some of us think we know what that means. So like, I think more people than, than were likely to just uh, go down to the protest are going to attend. Just on the security one, car. At the end of the day, the the if one lesson we learn from all of this, whether it be a psyop or not, George um, George Floyd and that, one thing we learn from all of this is we got to start taking care of our own. We got to start taking empowering ourselves. We got to um, think about ways to police ourselves and deal with our own issues. Like, do you know what I mean? We can't always wait for. We can't depend or trust law enforcement. And when we do, we end up in these scenarios where people from outside of our communities um, get to handle us, get the privilege of dealing with us, misuse that privilege, and um, we end up on the streets talking about we can't breathe. So really, we need to just start taking back bit by bit uh, the power of the people. There could be a hundred, there could be a hundred thousand sheep, and ten people that have really got a good heart and actually are. are progressive in their thoughts and I'd like to link up with them. Anyway. Okay. I could always link up with them and them at home. Someone said the people that are at home, the people that are not built for it, the people that don't want to come out, all that, like rather than just judging the people that are, get on your computers and do and do work. Do the do the admin. Do the propaganda. Send you get me. Send the messages. Send the information. Let people know that like, because it's gone past the point of you scorning people and saying that ah oh, well you shouldn't go. Your people, my people are going to be there. Like, literally are going to be there, regardless. So... But do you not think that... If they're going to be there regardless, don't you think the elders or the OGs or whoever it is, the parents maybe even, need to... Because I don't see the benefit, personally, in rolling to my man's call-out. Because I know when I'm playing chess and someone draws a pawn out mm. to try to draw me out, I'm not going to, like, move my bishop and my kings and my... Like, do you get what I'm saying? I respect that. Um... But people was rolling out anyway. I think that's why others are rolling out now. Because the simple fact that I wasn't going to no Black Lives Matter um, protest. I wasn't going. Get me? And there's many men like me and serious men like me that literally are like, Raj, you know what? Man weren't rolling, but man's rolling, in it. And hopefully it's a peace and love thing and everyone's just there. And man can just be there and see what I go on. You get me? Do you say that for real? Because I saw that thing you posted on um, Raspect. And um, he's talking about every Tommy Robinson um, thing that he sets up. There's always violence. Okay. So to me, it seems more of an inevitable rather than like hoping it's peaceful. 
I don't know. I, I, like, Do you think them man they have come to be peaceful? We're online, in it, so I have no idea. I like <laughs> get me. Say nothing. I'm, say I'm, nothing. You get me. I, I have no idea what Tommy Robinson stands <laughs> are. And to be honest, just the fact that he said he's coming down, and some people that I know think that that's the issue. I'm like, Do you know what? Rather than back be it. there, rather than not not even back it, rather than not be there, man, will be there, and 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 and, and there'll be hundreds more people like me. That, that weren't going to go to a protest before. But, but since you're trying to make it personal, man, I have to understand, like, like, this is it. When the DFLA and the EDL and the Football Lads Alliance and all these um, goons and hooligans and man, they were doing their thing, black men didn't get involved. There was one or two black men that, that were obviously um, are socially conscious, maybe into activism, and they were part of certain groups that would protest against these guys. But on the majority, the black man actually look the other way. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad thing. You let me know, but we looked the other way. When there was on a thing of, oh, this against the grooming gangs, I remember everybody was like, yeah, if them man are, are doing uh, pedo stuff or rapist stuff, do your thing. Man, I support that. But just be fair and be on all pedophiles. That was what we were saying to them. We're not getting involved. Mm. Now, this is a thing that, regardless of whether we agree on it, our people are definitely involved. Yeah? Our, our people were like, we got man them all over the internet, balling. You get me? People are emotionally traumatised by the fly-up that's going down. So they are turning they are turning up. And because they're turning up, you think you're going to make a subliminal threat or some kind of posturing over them and say, watch when we come down. Where I'm from, where you're from. You tell a man, watch. You tell a man, watch. <laughs> what are you saying? Man, you saying, watch next week. Watch next week when we come down. So... But my thing is, if them and I are going to protect a, a statue, let them go and protect a statue and, you know, peace and love to them. You get me? But if their intention is anything else, then obviously that's going to be a problem. That's not something that man is really, anyone's looking to tolerate. And I feel like the good thing about this whole situation is Tommy Robinson has exposed how little regard he has for his following and how, how mm. like you use the chess analogy, how, how um, eager he is to move them as pawns to do what he's doing, isn't it? Andrew. He's happy for that. I hope somebody is screen recording this car. This thing here has got a, um, a tendency to snake us. So if you're watching Trust this from me. now, you might want to screen record it just in case we've got some gems and, you know, booky things happen. Because that one with Shaka Bars, we lost that one. That was a shame. Talking of Shaka, what, on? what happened in that? Um... It was just an average conversation. Just He just spoke mainly. I just asked him one or two questions about the things that were pressing to me. You know, like, we spoke about Pizza Gay. We spoke about um, his comments about black celebrities being house Negroes. We spoke about Africa. We spoke about his interaction with Grenfell and the Grenfell community. Um, yeah, like, and he just basically just tried to clear up whatever he could. He just tried to, he just answered. So you can make of it what you will. If you was there, you heard it. But yeah, he just answered it, man. All right. So a lot of people, I guess myself included, see that guy as um, controlled opposition. And the BLM seems to have a lot of controlled opposition and stuff leading it as well. Like, what are your thoughts on that? And how would you... How do we like get back the movement in it? Because I know that you was part of guiding a new generation and that was something that's more real and that was actually there, like you said, when the cameras and shit weren't. Because a lot of people, I feel, see this sick thing as a photo op. A lot of people are going there just to put it on the gram and whatnot. But um, the, like you was part of something real. How, how, do you, how do we get people's shift away from our given heroes and the celebrities and stuff that are navigating down one path versus someone like you that's got some real grassroots we don't. orgs we don't like real recognize real and those who are supposed to gravitate towards whatever is truth to them they will gravitate most people 99.9 percent .9 people are wood for the fire you have to remember that as well not everyone is like not everyone's gonna pick the um the narrow difficult path when the wide shiny shiny one with um wheelchair access and automated vehicles taking you from point A to point B. When those two options are available, people go take the wide road. 
the easy road people like you know and that's where it is man we're not get that out of your head it's not going to happen bro you get me the, there's always going to be a, a controlled opposition doing some fuckeries leading people in a circle and they're going to get the attention they're going to get the live mic they're going to get the backing of the machine that's the nature of the beast I hear that I hear that um, I'll come on to someone else as well later because I believe birds of a feather and it seems to be a small world within a certain group of individuals. Um, but this question just come up. How do we stop black opposition? I don't think you can, to be honest, but go on. What do you, what do you think on um, that? I want to answer honestly. I don't really understand what you mean by that. Um, I took it as like black people within the community that are derailing almost or that are like yeah, black people, but they're not for the cause, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, try to focus. More try, for themselves. I feel like try to focus on those that are for the cause, isn't it? Hmm? Try to focus on people that are for the cause. Do you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I heard yeah. that. Um, my thing with a lot of these controlled opposition is they seem to be working within the, the confines of the system, almost. And we're told that like the revolution, the revolution won't be televised. So I seem to be seeing like a two revolutions: the televised revolution and more of a real revolution going on underneath. Um, when it comes to black history, I I don't un well personally I don't understand a system where we have black history separated from the past. Anyways, I don't understand the separation. But um, your view on people trying to change the system from within? Do you think that we need to gain positions of power within the system? Or are you like, yeah, what's your ideas on moving forward? Um, honestly, my idea is the system is, is meant for burning, is meant for discarding, it's meant for destroying. Um, only decimation will please me. Um, working within the system uh is folly like, i've never seen anything unless unless you're like unless you're like alien from out of fucking the sigourney weaver film and you're gonna bust out the chest yeah you ain't doing shit like this is the thing one thing we like to do is we like to overestimate and underestimate the opposition one if we have an international system of white supremacy that has been um in the concept um has been designed for hundreds and hundreds of years yeah and it's been set in place ironclad what makes you think yeah that these people that have actually guarding this plot guarding this conspiracy perpetuating it and keeping it running actively yeah are going to sit by while you do this dressing dressing the janitor's clothes and oh i'm just mopping yeah and then surprise we're taking over <laughs> like Money is digital. <laughs> Assets are, are accounted for. Income like Chappelle. You're, 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 you can't even leave your yard yeah, unless you're going to do an hour's exercise or get a bit of food. That's how bad it was. And now all of a sudden we're talking about getting inside the system and changing it. Who? By, give me one example of somebody. You can't anyway because you're probably going to say that this is like some James Bond shit, some espionage. Bro, you've got to take the system seriously. They're not fools, innit? Yeah. You're not going to get inside of nothing. How many black police officers have we had? How many black social workers have we had? How many black MPs or whatever do you need? You look at doing all cartwheels when Stephen Lawrence's mum got made a baron and that. Like, oh, she's a baron. Now, what's she done for you? Where is she? I ain't heard her pipe mm. up. Black, black lives matter. Don't you think the Lawrence family would be important? Where's her piping up with her baron? Because she's stuck in her funny black Saturnalia cloak. Like, we got to, like, we got to be real. This system is designed, yeah, the way it's designed. It's not working for none of us. The further we entrench ourselves and build the system, the more we walk away from nature. The more we walk away from nature, the more that the symptoms will, will show in all these, just the way that the world is now. Like, we got choices, innit? We got, we, we got choices, yeah? You lot love the system. So you want to stay in the prison. You don't want to escape the prison. You're not on prison break, yeah? Man like Tizar has got the fucking, the whole map of the prison on his back, yeah? And you're not trying to... I, I had to make you be the prison break guy because that guy's gay. 
But yeah, <laughs> um, you, you've got the whole title of the prison in your back and I'm the big brother and man them don't want to leave. Man them just want a better cell. Man, mm, man yeah. them, oh, you know what? I, I, I want to live on the ground floor. Yeah, because they get access to the showers first and yeah, I wouldn't mind that, you know? <laughs> And basically, we're negotiating for our position within the prison. Or like, how, how about if I just start making tea, and then from the, like, like, unless you're poison with your tea, allow it. Join in the system, being part of the system. Remember, this is a system of slavery by consent. We've got to remember, foundation, yeah, is, is taking us away from natural laws, God's laws, laws of the land. We've got to remember what this is all about. We're born, and we're born into captivity, and we consent. We can't dream to keep perpetuating that system. That's why I don't talk about these things. I don't talk about, like right about now, let's just talk about getting more rights and changing laws and making it a bit more comfy. Cool, I'm in the prison now. So if you don't want to make it more comfy, it'd be dumb for me to fight against that. You mm. want to make this, like, yeah, I'm down. Oh, black economics, yeah. You remember Black Wall Street and I've heard it all before. That's great. I'm, I'm down for it, but it's actually not a prison break um, plan. It's not that. It's forcing the governors, it's forcing the warden to take us seriously. But we still acknowledge there's a warden. That's not sovereignty. Mm. And if we're not living in sovereignty, then we're always going to be outside of nature. If we're always going to be outside of nature, then we're always going to be like a cancer to nature. We're always going to be like a virus. Yes. You get me? Like, what are we? If we're not in tune with nature, what are we? If, we're gonna, if we want our children to live in a world where they pay for water, they pay for food that grows, Somebody, like, if you want to, then by all means, just go from the inside and take it over. Cool. Just don't mm. forget me. Once you get there, don't forget me. Big me up. Because I want a nice car and nice shit too. But don't talk to me about freedom. <laughs> but I'll be my nice car with my nice shit. I'll say thank you, but I know we ain't free. <laughs> Talking to that, um, I feel, just by hopping off of what you said, I feel like a lot of people do need to pay attention because like you said, the system ain't helping us and people need to look at those that the system highlights and maybe even blue ticks and shit like that. But um, what was I going to say? Yeah, the comfort within the system. Just quickly, because um, someone put here, in fact, hold on, let me go to a couple questions here. What do you think we can do in replacement of the current system? Um, I, think, like, I think the laws of nature are, are perfect, are fine. I think the laws of nature already exist, and um, common law. Yeah, man has to uh, uh, choose to work in synergy with nature. Man has to understand that it is nature, and work in synergy. That's the laws that we'd be following. Natural laws. Do you know what I mean? And also, when it comes to governing, it's very simple. Um, as long as you don't harm no other man or woman, and you don't harm their property then you can pretty much do whatever you want to do i would like to get up today and find myself in a week's time i don't know Gibraltar, fucking i don't know italy uh the amazon rainforest um peru like just because but like it's it's a fantasy world for most people because it's not something that we can ever it's not something that we can ever see coming because that's actually what freedom is. Freedom is your ability to travel wherever you want yeah, and mm. determine your own destiny. If we're not determining our own destiny, then who is? We're not so. Yeah, if we have to ask for permission. Yeah, then, then, then who is? And that's not, like, ultimately, that makes me very unhappy living like that. Do you know what I mean? So when I see that this is, this is why I'm more, maybe more willing to go down and go to certain places because I'm like, Either way, even if it's, this is the new world order coming, let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. What are you waiting for? Cause we ain't doing nothing to stop it. Let's speed it up. And then maybe then people wake up and be like, oh my God, this is so horrible. Then when I'm chatting to man them about freedom, they can be realistic. Maybe, they, maybe mm. the world needs to see exactly how in prison they are. That's why I'm kind of giggling because slightly people are noticing little bits, pieces of fence where, they, where the, fence, the enclosure was something. Yeah, yeah. No one saw it. Now slightly people are starting to Hmm. Obviously, the circus and the celebrities and everyone's trying to get their likes up and their views up off the back of it. Obviously, because that's the age we live in. But like, secretly, amongst all the zombies that are fake woke, there's actually people that are getting really woke. You get me? Mm. The problem is, 
if they ain't around like a support network, they're probably going to the loony bin and places like that. I mean, not people having breakdowns. All these men crying. I don't like this man crying. I'm thinking you're crying because you've done fuckies, and you know what you're doing right now is fuckies, and you're crying. I know that. Like I said it before, I know that crap. When you've done something wrong, but you use the you use the guilt to fuel the the, the innocent look. Satin curse. You get me? I didn't do it, mama. I swear to God, I didn't do it. You get me? You get me? <laughs> he, just, he just came to me and just punched me so hard. He said, "Stop, my mom!" And I'm like, "No, don't stop, my mom!" You get me? These times, yeah, I brought my up. I brought my up. But like this, this is the thing. What they call it? Um, there's bare dupers the light going on in these things. There's bare funny business going on. Earlier we were talking about Floyd Webber buying a 24 karat gold coffin for a man that died. Is mm. kind of symbol for um, you know holding reverence to black causes. However, this is the same brother that did the full photo shoot in the Gollywood Gucci um, turtleneck, saying I'm still fucking with Gucci. That was only the other day. Yep. But as long as we as long as we keep getting manipulated by celebrities and that, and that's gonna keep happening, man, it is what it is. I'm not even mad at them. They've made their, Do you think that's, made their that stems to the UK? Say that again? Do you think that stems to the UK? Because um, I saw something suspect yesterday. What do you see? I saw uh Wretch 32's pops or something like that, and it just seemed a little convenient, innit? And I ain't I ain't saying nothing on it, it could be real, could not be real. But my question again, do you stem do you think this celebrity thing stems to the UK as well? I'm just like, yo, on a level personally, this might sound a bit mad, yeah. So if there's any ballers, any people doing like big bits in your life, like I'm not attacking you. But I think it'd be a wise strategy for some of us to see um the people that are that proceed the people that gain proceeds from the system in one way or another or that are made ag- archetypes um, are people that you need to watch out for. Now, I ain't got no issue with Rich 32 personally. I don't know him or whatever. Um, I'm hearing that mm-hmm. his dad was tased like three weeks ago or something like that. I never heard nothing about it. I didn't know nothing about it. It is, it is um, quite com- it is convenient timing. You, some could say that Rich 32 is choosing to highlight this and take an interview in light of Wagwan. Like at the end of the day, the, these news agencies do reach out to you. They reach out, they even reach mm. out to a brother like me. You get me? I've been on the BBC, so normal, real people do go in there, innit? So just because we see him there doesn't mean anything, but... Now, they've, they've reached out to me in a yeah. couple things. I ain't been on, but I, I, I hate you. Like, you know, my thing is this. If you guard yourself against idolization, if you guard yourself against putting other people on a, on a pedestal, if you're practicing self-love, if you're in a standing, your inner space, if you're dealing with what's going on in here, then... Big. Then all the decoys and the uh, Uncle Toms and the uh, the controlled opposition and all that they're not gonna hold a grab uh, have a, a hold on you because ultimately what mankind needs to learn right now if they're looking for freedom is they need to learn self empowerment. This is why I keep banging on about sovereignty because it's all about being in an adult state socially. We are children socially right now, sucking on the teeth of the jackal. Do you know what I mean? That we are children, and, and so that we're not responsible for ourselves. We're not responsible for our actions. And um, we're trained to always look to give power to something outside of ourselves, whether it be mm. religiously, politically, you know what I mean, or whatnot. And that's the trend that we need to break. Then we stop people that's thinking true. that one person can't make a difference. You hear me? Go so thyself. Um, someone here um, was saying that um, people are going down on Saturday to protect and this, that, and the other. Yeah. And um, randomly, I just came up with a thought. What do you think about... Because we're in the times of exposing, right? Like, I've been catching a bit of joke on these, like, racist getting fired pages, and I'm there for the comments and all of that. Um, but what do you think if everyone was just taking pictures of these people and then we just highlighted and we seen who these people are, innit? Because... These aren't people that are fighting for unity that are coming down with Tommy and all of that. They're not people that are about unity or, or about truth or anything like that. I'm not sure, even sure what their true goal is apart from to create a little bit of a madness. Um, they can be there under the pretense of protecting statues, but we pass them statues every day for however all long. The, and all, they wanted all, to all them youths them. there, all them men there of fighting age between the ages of 15 to, to 40 or 30, yeah, to 40 or 45, all the man there, they're lost soldiers. 
being manipulated, just like we got lost soldiers on this side, being manipulated.